Hello everybody, this is Good Boy, and today we're looking at Dota 2 pushing strategies. You'll notice these heroes all make sense because of their pushability. Death Prophet's ultimate, Nature's Prophet's treants, Lone Druid and his bear, Ending Moon and his edulons, and of course, Lycan and his wolves. Lycan is the essential character here because his howl gives all the attacking minions bonus attack damage. This is an essential part of the strategy. Anyway, you'll send Lone Druid top, Solar lane, he's a carry, but he can handle the off lane, so that's fine. You'll send Enigma into the jungle, he's an excellent jungler, and then Nature's Prophet and Lycan will share the lane. These two will do quite a lot of pushing, so much so in fact that uh, there won't be much lane control going on at all, and instead they'll just make as much damage as they can to the tower. And then of course there's Death Prophet who's mid. And she'll want to level up to level 6 so she can be most effective with the push. Now by about 5 minutes, Lycan and Nature's Prophet should have gotten that tower down. And then you can start grouping up as a team and rotating. You'll rotate top to the top tower. And here you'll actually work to kill any defenders before you finish off your push. It really helps in a pushing strategy to actually kill the enemy team. And then you can take out the towers unfettered. And there is a Magnus here, but he's staying far enough not to interfere effectively, so you can focus on destroying the enemy tower. Now you'll notice there's just three heroes here, Lone Druid, Lycan and Nature's Prophet. And you'll notice the uh, Wolf Hell has been activated, and that tower goes down really fast as a result. It's after this point you'll then group up as a five. Remember, when you're on that tower, that's when you want to have your team fight. And even though that's a massive disadvantage tactically, because of all your pushes, they should be pretty distracted. So you can focus on killing the team. And win a team fight. So that Jakira has been caught, and that Magnus made a bad play there, and he's been caught too. With two of them dead, you can easily take out either a Rax, or if you haven't got the towers down yet, you can take out a tower. And so that's how it works. You win a team fight where you kill at least two of the enemy team, and then you either take down a tower, or you take out the Rax. In this case, we'll take out a tower, and then we'll need to pull out and heal up, because the enemy heroes were coming back in. And this is where the team fight ability of Enigma is so important. At this key moment, three of the heroes get caught in this black hole. The rest of the team can capitalize on it and kill them. With three of their heroes dead, caught out, and there's absolutely nothing stopping you from destroying their racks. And so you all group up and take out both sets of Rax tops. And there you gonna There you have it. Before 15 minutes, you've got the Rax down. You pretty much secured yourself the victory. And that's basically the strategy. You win a team fight close to their base, and then you push him. You go in once to take out the tower, and this is the second time, because the tower's already down. You go in to take out the Rax. Now in this particular case, once again, you'll see the great power of Enigma. But also, you notice that Death Prophet ultimate is really causing havoc. So there's Enigma, and there's the Black Hole. And even Magnus gets caught out like. And there you go, you're winning other team fights. That's a Magnus Wall fight back, of course. But even then, you'll kill him. And there you go, three heroes are dead. There's now no reason for you not to take out the barracks. If the enemy team get too close to you, kill them as well. Like this Jakiro here. If they're far away enough, fine. Take out the Rax. Either way, that's the way you want to do it. But remember, it's an ironic pushing strategy, but the pushing strategy works on the basis that you win team fights in their base, and then you can push. Now, once you get the second Rax down, getting the third is easy. And the team probably would have given up by now anyway. But it's just that it's the second Rax that's the hardest. And it always works on the basis that you're winning the team fight. At least two of their heroes are dead. And with Mega Creeps, just over 20 minutes. Well, I don't know anyone to come back from that. And there you have it. There's the push strategy. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you would like more guide, please follow the video links.